Top 10 African Oil and Gas Projects to Watch Out For in 2023 Despite producing 8% of the world's oil in 2020, Africa has vast untapped natural resource richness and has the potential to become a major player in the energy sector. Approximately 428 oil and gas projects are anticipated to begin operating on the continent between 2021 and 2025, making it a hive of activity throughout the following 10 years. Africa's abundant oil and gas resources, which make up 7.1% of the world's proven oil and gas reserves, are essential to the continent's economic and social development and are expected to spur growth in all regions of the continent. Natural gas, with its 620 trillion cubic feet TAF, of proven reserves, has been chosen by Africa as the preferred energy source to solve the continent's energy poverty, spur socioeconomic growth, and ensure a just and inclusive energy transition. Due to this, particularly in recent years, several sizable initiatives have begun that are expected to bring in a new era of energy availability and industrialization across the continent. According to global data, over 70 crude oil and natural gas projects are anticipated to go online by 2025, adding as much as 2.3 million barrels per day BPT, to global crude and condensate production as sub-Saharan Africa embarks on a robust post-pandemic recovery on the back of energy development. Project economic viability Rising renewable energy concerns and above-ground risk, however, continue to be important considerations in choosing which projects will be completed and which will be perpetually delayed. The top sub-Saharan upstream oil projects to keep an eye on in 2023 are listed below. These risky endeavors could, however, result in the biggest profits for their respective markets. 10. South Africa's Richards Bay Refinery Project in South Africa's KwaZulu Natal province, it is close to Richards. The Petroleum Oil and Gas Corporation of South Africa SOC, is the organization behind this future project, which is scheduled to go into operation in 2028. It is the outcome of a combined investment between South Africa and Saudi Arabia, in which Saudi Aramco proposed investing $10 billion in the Richards Bay refinery complex. Due to a non-disclosure agreement between Saudi Aramco and the country's Central Energy Fund CEF, not much is known about the project. The crude distillation facility is expected to process 300 million barrels per day, though. On the continent, 428 oil and gas projects are anticipated to be finished between 2021 and 2025. 9. Manjiria's Etten and Zavazaba Fields Project Off the coast of Manjiria, in the deep water, OPL 245 block in the Gulf of Guinea are the Anton and Zabazaba fields. The resources, which are located in 1,200 to 2,400 meter deep water, could collectively hold 500 million barrels of oil equivalent, with potential for further development. When the Aten 1X Discovery well was bored to a total depth of 4,575 meters in 1,720 meters of water and logged 120 meters of hydrocarbon-bearing sands, it was in 2005 that the Aten field was first discovered. 40 kilometers away from Aten, on the other side of an undersea canyon, Zaba Zaba was found in 2007. Eni and Shell are collaborating on an integrated development project with the goal of using the Zaba Zaba FPSO to develop both fields gradually. The FPSO, which can produce 120,000 barrels per day, will be spread moored. 8. Mozambique's Rovuma LNG Project one of our top 10 oil and gas projects for 2023 is the Rovuma LNG project in Mozambique, for which Furcroft is hiring engineering specialists. ExxonMobil is running Africa's largest private project ever, which is one of several enormous projects that will completely change the nation's natural gas business over the next five years. Work of the first two liquefaction trains and related onshore infrastructure for the Rovuma LNG project will cost $500 million, with additional work to follow. 
Each train is anticipated to produce 8.2 million tons of LNG annually, and the facility is expected to be in operation for at least 30 years. Later this year, a final investment decision is anticipated for the project, and production is scheduled to start in 2025. 7. Ghana's Banyar Petroleum Hub Project The Ghana Petroleum Hub, a significant undertaking supervised by Ghanaian President Nana Akufo Addo, is situated in Banyar, the country's western region, and is estimated to cost $60 billion. Four refineries, five petrochemical plants, industrial infrastructure, and 10 million cubic meters of storage space will all be included in the project, which will take up 20,000 acres of land. 150,000 barrels will be processed daily at each refinery. The project started in 2020 with the goal of supporting Ghana's socioeconomic prospects. The hub's objectives include satisfying regional demand, developing the local labor market, and boosting intra-African trade. 6. Nigeria's Dangote Refinery Project Africa's largest industrial giant, the Nigerian-based Dangote Group is building a sizable downstream complex in Nigeria's Leki Free Trade Zone. 153,000 barrels of gasoline, 104,000 barrels of diesel, 73,000 barrels of jet fuel, 4,109 barrels of LPG, and 12,300 barrels of fuel oil will be produced daily at the 650,000 barrel per day oil refinery. It will have the capacity to process various crude oil grades, including shale oil. The refinery is reportedly 75% complete, and the petrochemical complex is 60% complete. Construction is now ongoing. Once the refinery is finished, it will have a crude distillation unit CDU, a single train residual fluid catalytic cracking FCC unit, diesel hydrotreating, continuous catalyst regeneration, an alkylation unit, a polypropylene unit, utilities, offsites, a captive power plant, and infrastructure for a single point mooring terminal for handling crude oil and products. Alongside the refinery, a petrochemical complex will contain a mixed feed cracker with a 1.1 million tons per year TPA, ethylene and 350,000 TPA propylene capacity. The facility will have a 750,000 TPA polypropylene plant as well. A fertilizer unit will also be part of the plant. The first production is scheduled to commence in 2021, and full capacity is anticipated to be attained by the middle of the year. 5. Ghana's Deepwater Tano Cape Three Points Due to the opening of new fields, particularly recent finds in the fruitful Deepwater Tano Cape Three Points DDT CTP, block, domestic output in Ghana is predicted to more than double by 2023. The Ultra Deepwater Block, which is run by Acre Energy, has seven fields, including the oil fields Pekin, Pekin North, Almond, Beach, and Cobb, as well as the gas and condensate fields Hickory North and Paradise. The Pekin field and its satellites are currently the subject of major development work by the Norwegian operator, and it is anticipated that by 2023, domestic output will have increased from less than 200,000 BPD to 420,000 BPD. 4. Senegal's Sangamar Field Development Senegal's Sangamar Oil Project, which consists of the Rufisk, Sangamar, and Sangamar Deep Blocks, is anticipated to start producing oil successfully in 2023. As of late September, the project was claimed to be 60% complete. The $4.6 billion project, which is being led by Woodside Energy and Petrosen, Senegal's national oil company, is anticipated to produce 231 million barrels of oil in its initial phase of development, with total recoverable oil resources estimated to be over 500 million barrels throughout the course of its existence. First Oil will bring Senegal new export opportunities and accompanying profits, as well as promising opportunities for industrialization and quick economic expansion. 3. Uganda's Lake Albert Development 
Although it has experienced considerable delays, the Total Energies Run Lake Albert development is another oil megaproject with a huge potential return. The development of the Telenga and Kingfisher upstream oil projects, as well as the construction of the intended 1,500 km East African crude oil pipeline, are now possible thanks to the French major's FID on the project, which represents a $10 billion investment. If Lake Albert oil is successfully developed, Uganda might produce 230,000 BPD and become a recognized commercial oil producer, ushering in a new age of East African energy growth. 2. Nigeria's Bonga North Deepwater Project Shell's Bonga North project in Nigeria's OMNL 118, which has seen 10 years of delays, is anticipated to receive FID in the second quarter of 2023. The British multinational joined the project's final round of tendering in May of last year. The project, which will cost $2 billion to complete, entails connecting 120,000 BPD of production to the Bongo main FPSO. Notably, the massive $10 billion Bonga Southwest Aparo project, which is anticipated to reach FID in 2024, will come after the project. For its part, Bonga North's startup would be essential in reversing Nigeria's decreasing production and enabling the nation to restore its status as Africa's top oil producer. It is anticipated that Bonga North may hold up to 525 million barrels of crude oil. 1. Angola's Begonia Field Development the EPSCI contract was given to McDermott International two months after Total Energies announced its final investment decision, FID, for the Begonia Field, the first development in offshore Block 17 sixths, in July of last year. The Begonia oil field development, which consists of five wells connected back to the current pass floor FPSO, is in line with the business's aim to utilize its current infrastructure and is anticipated to increase output by 30,000 BPD. With an expenditure of $850 million and 1.3 million man-hours of labor, 70% of which will be performed in Angola, startup is anticipated for late 2024. The Begonia field signifies a significant development in Angola's upstream rejuvenation and confirmation of the senior IOC's dedication to the growth of their domestic resources. Thank you for sticking with Africa Reloaded all the way to the end. If you enjoyed watching this video, do not hesitate to like, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more exciting adventures. Do well to turn on the notification bell so as to get alerts when we post a new video.